Hey there, Facebook friends of Springboard Marina. I'm Captain Lee Sheely. We're in beautiful Cape Coral, Florida today at uh, Tarpon Point Marina. I've got the 58 Serena Coupe. We're gonna be moving this boat up the state of Florida, across the uh, Gulf of Mexico, and into the waterways up to Chicago. We're about 12, 1300 mile trip, and I'd like you to ride with me on it as we give you videos every single day, as well as tours of the different rooms, systems, and spaces on the 58 Serena Coupe. Join me, won't you? Thanks. Hello everybody at Springbrook. This is Captain Lee at the helm. We are just making the turn by Boca Grande, heading out into the Gulf of Mexico for a jump up to Clearwater Beach Marina this evening. Hope you'll uh, keep watching as we journey north. Well, thanks for hanging out with me today on our first day up the West Coast. As the sun is setting here in Dunedin, Florida, and we're getting ready to make the jump across the Gulf of Mexico tomorrow, I hope you will uh, stay tuned with us. We hope to bring you a lot more uh, sunrises and sunsets. Stay safe, everybody, and we'll see you in Chicago soon. Normally, I don't do a whole lot of glamour shots while I'm on a trip, but holy moly. It's good to be a captain. That is one unbelievable sunrise. I'm gonna just zoom in a little bit. We're so glad you could join us on this journey. Our next stop is gonna be Carabelle, Florida on board the 58 Serena. We are underway. Springbrook Marina Facebook page. This is Captain Lee Sheely. It is uh, just before sunrise and we are going through our systems checks, getting everything set up and ready to get underway here at our first light. We're about to fire them up. everybody at Springbrook Marina. Thanks so much for following along with us on this really long day. Captain Brian and I had a heck of a good time. We started uh, pre-dawn as you know and made the jump of record time over to Carabelle. Seas were three foot on the beam. This boat with the uh, Sea Keeper stabilization system engaged made it feel like we were on a lake. Absolutely comfortable. We were able to get uh, full cups of coffee and not worry about spilling on each other. It was a, it was a really uh, exceptional day on the water. We made the crossing to Carabelle in about seven and a half hours, which was great time, and uh, fueled up there and realized we could make uh, Port St. Joe by the end of the day. That's exactly what we did. We're here at sunset. Uh, this marina just reopened for business after uh, getting really, really badly hurt by a hurricane about a year and a half, two years ago. That's the same one that wiped Mexico Beach off the map. You, I'm sure you guys saw that uh, on the national news. This was the marina that serviced that and uh, they're finally back up and running. We're glad to be here, glad to give them some business and glad to show off the Serena Yachts. Everywhere we go, people come up, ask us what the heck this thing is, tell us how gorgeous it is. 
I feel like a B-list celebrity right now. It's it's a it's a nice way to travel. the dolphin rides. He's not even having a paddle alarm. Good evening everybody that's been following us from Springbrook Marine and Instagram and Facebook. This is Captain Lee along with Captain Ryan here at the helm. We are on our final approach into downtown Mobile, Alabama after doing a run of about 215 miles today. I sent some uh, pretty cool videos out while we were in the uh, Gulf of Mexico. Hopefully you all enjoyed that. Unfortunately, our uh, dolphin visiting days are past us now as we head up and into the river system. However, starting tomorrow, I'm gonna be giving you guys a lot more in-depth tours of uh, locales and systems on this boat that I think everybody's gonna enjoy. So stay with us and we'll catch up with you tomorrow. Everybody at Springbrook Marine, all of our followers, thanks for joining us again. On kind of a gray overcast morning, just leaving Mobile, Alabama, heading into the river system. Downtown Mobile is a cool city if you can get to it. The only place to tie up is right behind the convention center uh, where you have to run your generator all night and it's uh, you're kind of basically tied up to a parking lot. Uh, we got Camp Brian outside tending the lines, getting everything pulled in and secured. And uh, just a little bit of riverboat traffic this morning. Our plan today is to run up to Demopolis, Alabama. And uh, that's about a 180 mile run. We've got one lock, the Coffeyville lock, which we will be uh, filming our crossing through and just talking about what we do to get through a lock for those of you who haven't done it before. And uh, a little bit later on tonight, we will be starting to do some, uh, some features on this boat of uh, the uh, exterior spaces first and then uh, moving into the interior as we uh, move forward to our final destination. For now, uh, keep uh, tuned, We're glad you're with us. Have a great day. Hey, I almost forgot one last thing when you're transiting Alabama, this is really important. You gotta have some kind of camouflage that's visible from uh, any of the uh, patrol boats that are on the water. They see this camouflage, they're not pulling you over or stopping you for any reason. Basically, there's no law as long as you're wearing camouflage in Alabama. And that's a fact. All right, Springbrook Marina, this is uh, Captain Lee at the helm. Got Captain Brian outside tending the lines. We're coming up to the Coffinville Lock and Dam uh, in Alabama here while we are northbound. And we've just gotten a radio uh, communication saying, hey, come on in. So we're, uh, we're getting ready to do our transit. And if you want to hang out with us until we're on the wall, that'd be great. And Coffeeville's one of the locks of dams where you're going to supply your own line. You're going to just loop it around the bollard. And I recommend usually that folks do a midline first. Uh, you know, and a lot of times that's the, the only one you're going to need. So we'll see how that works out. Brian is uh, outside ready to catch us uh, on that bollard once I get us up into the lock and onto the wall. So first thing I do is I use this screen, which is my autopilot, to make sure that uh, my steering is zeroed out. And then I don't even use the uh, joystick, although it's there if you need to. I just use my sticks and thrusters if I need to. All right, Frank, to get right over the the I'll let him know when you get caught up. And you heard uh, that deep country Alabama accent letting us know, come on in, he's ready for us. So we are on our final approach. 
All right, as you can see, we are now secured against the uh, wall. You can see how the cap has got it secured against the ball and wrap around and then back through. And with one single line, we are gonna have the boat in place for our transition. Looks like we got about, probably about 15 feet up here at Coffee Hill Dam. Good morning, everyone at Springbrook Marina from a glassy, calm, and beautiful morning at Bobby's Fish Camp. Captain Brian and I are just finishing with our morning checks on fluid levels and filters and everything in the engine room. And we are about to uh, get going and get in and underway here. It was a uh, relatively calm night here tied up at Bobby's. Not a whole lot of river traffic. And we had a boat behind us last night and they have already gotten up and underway. But I just wanted to share this beautiful beautiful sunrise with you we'll talk to you a little bit more while we are underway and uh and we will be doing some features and benefits this afternoon once we are at our final destination hey good morning springbrook marina just while we are starting this boat up i wanted to show you how easy it is for our startup and switching over our power a lot of boats i know you have to do a bunch of crazy stuff for us it's simple you come into our ac control panel Hold it to the off for about three or four seconds, preheat your generator. Just switch it over to on. It's gonna take about 15 seconds since it's owning. That's one of the features. And uh, we're gonna hear a kick on, which I just did. You're gonna come over here to the main battery gen set switch here, um, your, your AC source selector. We're gonna go from shore power straight over to gen set. And just like that, everything is on and everything is working and functional. It could not be easier. And also, I love the fact as a captain that everything is right here next to the helm. So you've got access to your your power controls just at a, at a moment's notice. It's a, it's a really cool feature. It's something a lot of builders don't really think about. They put the uh, AC-DC control panels way back by the entry or by the stairs, and uh, it's a much better place here by the helm. And finally, as promised, we're going to start doing our video features on the boat, walking you through some cool stuff. Now, normally, if you've got the traditional captain, Captain Steve Larrabee on BoatTest.com, which you've all seen, I'm confident, he's going to show you the salon, he's going to do some measurements outside, and he's going to show you the master, and then you're going to see maybe like one second on any of the guest rooms. We're going to do it a little bit differently here for you guys. We're going to show you what I think is one of the neatest features about this particular boat and this layout, which is so unique, and that's the third stateroom on this boat. So come with me if you will. All right, if you're ready, come on in. This is gonna be on the port side of the boat. So the biggest thing I wanna point out to you is two huge side-by-side -side beds. Typically on a boat uh, 58 feet, the third stateroom is like a dungeon or it's a creepy, weird little bunk room that no you know, grown-ups would ever want to live in. With the Serena 58, you have two side-by-sides. And on these beds, I mean, these are legit, full grown-up human being beds. Now, when I did that, I'm sure it wasn't the best camera angle, but I'm confident you guys recognize that I'm a fully grown and well-fed human man. Uh, if I can fit comfortably on this bed, I promise you, so can you. Um, one of the things I like so much about it is touch controls for all of your lights right here. You've got a plug. You've got controls for your air conditioning. Another touch light right there that couldn't be any simpler. And then look at this. Not one, but two chargers uh, plugs, USB plugs. And then there's another one right over there by the Fusion Stereo. Okay. Brian, give them a shot outside that window if you would. This window here is absolutely unreal. You're normally gonna see a porthole that size on a, a yacht in, in the 75 to 85 foot range, not on a 58 footer for sure. Right over here, we've got a gigantic uh, closet, tons of space and then you have access to hatches there. So a huge hanging closet for you know a, a couple or a couple of people that are gonna be I guess overnight.
Well, good morning, Springbrook Marina from uh, Pickwick Lake. Um, we are at Aquayot Harbor. And unfortunately, last night, we had way more adventures than we wanted. There was a huge storm or possibly a tornado that hit us last night. And uh, this is one of their main docks here. The roof has collapsed, but more importantly, the entire structure has broken loose and it's drifting in to this dock. So these two docks are going to slowly crash into each other. This is a, only about wide enough. You almost jump across at this point. It's probably about eight foot gap. And normally this is a uh, probably a hundred foot bay. So it's a, a major, major problem down here. And uh, anyhow, this is probably the first video that exists of it. It's uh, one of the wildest experiences uh, Captain Brian and I have ever had. Hey everybody at Springbrook Marina. Captain Brian and I just wanted to say thanks so much for following along with us on these adventures we've been having. Last night was wild and crazy, wasn't it, Brian? Yeah, he's uh, he was a bit overwhelmed with emotion here, so you'll have to excuse him. Anyhow, uh, we were talking while we were underway here, and uh, at our next destination, Brian was really stoked to show you some of the exterior spaces, so that's going to be our goal for this evening, uh, provided we have any kind of Wi-Fi or cell phone signal to get this out to you. And uh, Brian wanted to also say uh, that he was just giddy at the number of views that everybody's been getting. I mean, this guy's been uh, just talking a mile a minute here, haven't you, Brian? So uh, anyhow, listen, I'll tell you one thing. If you're gonna have crew, try to find one that doesn't talk as much as this guy here. It drives you crazy after a while. Good evening to everybody at Springbrook Marina. It's Captain Lee here in Paducah on their uh, city docks. I just wanna walk you forward to one of my favorite spots on the boat here at sunset. And that's gonna be the foredeck entertainment area. You're gonna walk up here and you can see how wide and spacious this is. And then I'm gonna come up here and show you really one of the prettiest entertainment areas I've ever seen on a boat in this size range. Now you can get a four deck area like this, you know, in an 85, 95 footer, but to have seating and uh, sun space for seven or eight folks up here, with these great pop-out lights that you can see here. You can see right here and over on this side right here. Those are Shays lounges. And you come over here, really comfortable seats, kind of reclined and laid back with this table here at a perfect dining height. And you got your own private stereo system up front. Brian and I, whenever we get a chance, we love to kick back right here and uh, just enjoy the beauty that the Serena 58 brings to us uh, at the end of each day while we're running. We're only a few more days from uh, our final destination in Port St. Charles. We sure are glad you've been with us and uh, we'll see you tomorrow morning bright and early. Well, good morning to everybody at Springwood Marina. It's our final morning on the water. We were hoping to make Alton last night, but unfortunately, the Mississippi River is running about six knots against us. And it was just not gonna happen. Not unless we wanted to go in at night and there's trees and all kinds of big, thick, heavy debris. So we are at the glorious Hoppies Marina. I use the marina in quotations. Hoppies has been pretty heavily damaged over the last couple of years. But this is, uh, the only spot between Paducah, Kentucky and Alton, Illinois, where you can actually plug in the power. So uh, the term any port in a storm is uh, certainly apropos here. We're uh, watching TV and seeing that there's severe weather coming. So we are really glad that we are not delayed any further. We will be tied up at St. Charles, Missouri, Polestar Marina this evening where we're going to be handing off to Captain Dan and he's going to continue the trip up to Springbrook. He's one of the Springbrook uh, corporate captains. Well, it's a bit of a rainy gray day here in St. Louis, so uh, 
the view is a little underwhelming from the helm of the uh, 58 Serena, but wanted you all to see St. Louis Arch as we were passing it. Sure would be nice if they ever built a uh, marina here in downtown St. Louis. It'd be a real cool stop on this trip. Hey everybody, Captain Lee here uh, alongside with Captain Dan. Captain Brian and Captain Clyde are in the background there, and uh, as you can see, uh, Clyde's almost as uh, excited as Brian to get underway on this fantastic 58 Serena. Uh, we're going to have a lot more features and videos coming from Captain Dan uh, tomorrow when they get underway for their final uh, two-day push to uh, uh, Seneca, isn't yes, that right? Sir. Yes, sir. All right, cool deal. And then uh, this evening... I think uh, Dan and I are going to be doing a features and benefits walkthrough of the uh, the master stateroom as promised. Beautiful. And uh, Brian and Clyde, I mean, Brian, are you, are you ready to, to hand this thing off? Have you got any, anything to say to the crowd again? All right. So it uh, sounds, like, uh, sounds like uh, Brian and uh, Clyde, they are got a lot to talk about uh, on this handover. We're going to let them get to it. Again, thanks for watching, and uh, I'm sure Dan is going to, carry this torch for everybody and get this thing to its home port. Make sure you all stop by in person uh, once you have the chance and see this boat. Uh, what do you think, Dan? It's beautiful. I can't wait to uh, to actually get underway with this and, and really feel it. Been on it plenty of times, but haven't uh, gotten underway with it quite yet. It's going to be fun. All right. Sounds good. See you guys later. Captain Dan, what's going on, you sir? You got me, man. Hi, uh, is, welcome to the master stateroom. What do you think? What a retreat, let me tell you. And this is a, what a nice little area to come hang out and get away from uh, get away from it all. I, I really like it a lot. I mean, for me, I know you've been a captain for years. I have too. Have you ever seen a bow stateroom with this kind of layout, ever? No, not and definitely not this kind of beam on the, the, the width of the boat. You, you have the entire width of the boat for yourself here. Uh, this bed, you're not slushed up into the front of the boat trying to weasel around the corners got a lot of room, um, excellent uh, use of the space up here. And tons of storage everywhere, right? Absolutely, you've got every cabinet under the sun here. Yeah. You've got space underneath the bed even for storage. Oh yeah, and then you've got his and hers nightstands too. I see you've got a Fusion stereo down here, which is a standalone. Yeah, getting the Bluetooth hooked up to have some tunes playing later for sure. Very cool, and then this is a smart TV with all of the, uh, the normal accoutrements, I'm assuming. That's correct. You've got your Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, all the uh, all that jazz uh, right away, so you can click, click right into it. Cool, man. Well, why don't you show us the uh, the the huge closets and uh, and then the uh, the head? Absolutely. So you've got standing uh, full closets on uh, on both sides of the boat here. Uh, this is the uh, starboard side, and then over on the port side. Uh, before we get there, I'll show you the master head. It's got uh, plenty of room. Full enclosed shower, rain head shower. Oh yeah, the rain head. Teak flooring in here, beautiful, really nice comfort and feel for the for your feet, not slipping around when you're wet. We've got beautiful countertops, large sink vanity, more storage up in here as well. So you've got yeah, that's the, a great medicine all cabinet. the room for all your little boards and going up this way. Oh yeah. This is the kind of aside from the cabinets, you've got additional storage here. Yeah, that's a huge closet. That's great. Show, think, show us like the super Batman action here. This I think is the coolest part of the boat, um, especially for your private exit for your bow. Come on up here. Ah, if, if anybody's been following along, you know that I have been up here and showed you the bow when all the cushions were off and talked about the uh, private stairwell into the master. But boy, I'll tell you what, you want to come up here for a first cup of coffee in the morning before the day gets really weird and crazy glass this is the way to do it glass of wine in the evening that's exactly right and uh what's the temperature right now dan uh, it is a breezy might be 42 degrees so uh I, I think uh i'm maybe a little underdressed but uh feeling uh feeling the boating weather now that i'm uh, on a boat and getting ready to run it up to chicago i'm getting getting that itch to be uh in the chicago boating weather here, well so. listen man my next boat delivery is literally just around the corner here it's that Carver 570 Voyager, and Brian and I are going to be heading uh, on that one tomorrow. When you leave, we're heading back down to Florida, and as you can see, I'm still in shorts and bare feet. You can take the Florida boy out of Florida, but uh, you can't take uh, the Florida out of the boy. So uh, I wish you well, and uh, safe travels, smooth seas, and uh, fair winds. Thank you. Thank you. Look forward to the rest of the trip with you guys here at Springbrook, and I uh, look forward to seeing you here in the summer. Good morning, Springbrook Marina. Um, 
I think, I don't know what happened, but I might have taken a wrong turn. I was following the GPS, but uh, I think I ended up in Antarctica, Canada. I'm not sure where I'm at, but uh, did not expect uh, to wake up to some snow this morning. Uh, makes for an interesting uh, uh, getting ready to get pushed off here from the dock. We are at, uh, at the marina here in Peoria, and um, we are about to get underway and head you about 100 miles two locks and uh, head to Mar Springbrook Marina in Seneca we will be there uh, less than five well hopefully within five or so hours and we will check in as we arrive hope to have a quick easy day uh, the snow shouldn't uh, shouldn't stop us we got nice heat and everything else is uh, ready on the inside of the boat and get untied and get off and ready to roll today thanks good to see you soon Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is the last lock. It is closing behind us, and once it is officially closed, they will start raising the lock, and we will finally head upriver to our last and final destination, which is Springbrook Marina. We will be there in about 20 minutes, um, maybe 30. I'm always a little optimistic as to uh, getting there faster. but. We will be there very soon and I uh, can't wait to get docked and uh, finally officially hand this off to Springbrook Marina. See you all soon.